Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have Chanel Le Beige collection for 2022. I have pretty much the entire collection. I just used it and I am absolutely in love. I can't wait to share it with you and give you guys my thoughts on this collection. So if you guys are interested in the new Chanel Le Beige collection for 2022, then please continue watching. So we are going to get right into it. I do have a completely bare face, nothing on on except for my moisturizer and here is the Le Beige collection I pretty much got everything so I'm so excited to dig into this and I do want to mention that I did purchase this collection from the Chanel boutique at the King of Prussia mall and my SA is Nala she is amazing she really took great care of me and sent the products to me literally overnight and she included this little gift that I absolutely love. It is a little Le Beige bag. And this is so cute to kind of keep the collection in for traveling. It is such an adorable little bag and I thank you Nala for this great gift. First, we have to get into the Le Beige Touche de Tent Water Fresh Complexion Touch. Now this is the original. I usually went for the medium shade in this. And even though it doesn't give a full coverage, it is just such a beautiful type of everyday type of foundation. It did come with a little mini brush and I did love the brush so much so I ended up just purchasing the kind of larger size, the regular size in it. And I just really love this brush for this kind of foundation. Now, the new foundation is so tiny. I ended up going for B20. Now the essay at the Chanel Boutique did show me a side-by-side -side of the B30 and the B20. I will insert pictures of it. And it looked like the B30 was just way too dark. So um, the essay did agree that it's probably best for me to go to the B20 and I cannot wait to try this. Now with I the foundation, we do receive a brush. I do think this brush is pretty cute. It's pretty dense, so let's see how this goes. I'm not sure that I'm going to love this. I am going to try out this brush. I'm thinking of using it on kind of half of my face and then using the regular brush that I usually use with the fresh tint on the other side just to get a comparison and see how it looks. I'm going to start off with one pump. Ooh. Uh, it's such a tiny amount. I don't know. I think I'm probably going to need a pump on each side But it really is depending on how the actual foundation kind of works Already I feel like I wish I went with the B30 This is why kind of hand swatches are not my favorite because you never really know now this was just kind of half. So let's see, I do have a little bit of redness here. I'm just going to cover that. I have to say I do prefer the larger brush over this tiny one. I do like this for kind of smaller areas to kind of conceal and I think as a concealer brush, this one is going to be beautiful, kind of just around the eyes. Now, of course, I did have to get the Le Beige Bronzer. This is the Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. This is absolutely one of my favorite products from Chanel. I love the original. I've had it for so many years and I did purchase the reformulation that I use quite often. And of course they didn't really have a wide range of colors. They did come out with a very dark tone a couple of years back, but I felt like it was too dark for my complexion so I did not purchase it. But this medium shade looks like it would be the perfect shade for me. And I absolutely had to go for it. I cannot wait to try this. You can already tell it is much darker. And this product really does go a long way. It'll last you for years. With this product, I love using the Chanel retractable brush. This is the perfect brush for it. What I do is I just swirl it around there picks up quite a lot of the product so I just tap it on the back of my hand 
Ooh, look how dark that is. Honestly, the original, I usually can hardly even see on my skin. It just gives me that sun-kissed glow. But this is definitely a very nice contour. So that is the Healthy Cream Bronzer and I love it. I love the shade. I think it is absolutely perfect. Kind of the shade that I have been waiting for from this Healthy Glow Bronzer. Next we have the Oversize Healthy Glow Sunkiss Powder. Now initially I was not going to purchase this because a couple of years back Chanel did come out with a bronzer that's very similar and I love this thing. I always use it and it's just such a gorgeous glow kind of after you put your Healthy Glow Bronzer, the cream bronzer, you just kind of apply a little bit of this on your cheeks and you're good to go. Now, when I found out that this is truly an oversized product, I had to get it. And it's also very different in the sense that this isn't supposed to be a bronzer in the sense of what the other one was. This is more of a healthy glow sun kiss all over bronzer. So you could use this on your body as well which is why it's so oversized and I absolutely love the embossment on there. I mean, look at that. Now, of course, once you start using this, that embossment will go away, but nonetheless, it is absolutely gorgeous, so pretty. Something else Chanel released with this collection is the Le Beige Oversized Kabuki Brush. This brush is a dream. The minute I saw it, I knew I had to have it. I know it's overly priced, but it is so cute. It comes with a pouch. And I have been looking for a brush like this that's really oversized. Kind of, you can bronze your entire face in a very nice way. And this is perfect for it. It doesn't ruin it right away, but this brush is a dream. Look at that. Just going to work it into my face. This is extremely light, and as you can see, it gives kind of that healthy glow as if you just came back from the beach. Next, we have the product I have been waiting for, and this is the Le Beige Blush. Photos of this product surfaced about last year, and I thought this was going to come out around the fall season. I have been really waiting for this product. It is one of its kind. I have never seen anything like this on the market. I can't wait to see what this blush is going to look like. I'm going to start with one pump. Ooh, has quite a big pump. I feel like this is going to be used on both sides. As you can see, it's pretty runny and there's the little beads in there. I'm going to use this foundation brush. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the product and just pat it in. Oh wow, this is so different. Oh my goodness. I did not think this would be as pigmented as it is. This is so interesting. It's not quite a cream blush, but it's not a powder. It feels so fresh on the skin and it looks very natural. Just a beautiful flush of pink. I am in love with this collection already. Everything looks perfect on the skin. It is the perfect summer makeup. It just doesn't look so overboard. You look so done, but yeah, very natural. For my lips, I am going to apply this Rouge Coco Balm in number 914 Natural Charm. I think this shade will look perfect for that natural type of look I'm going for today. I just applied some mascara off camera. No eyeshadow today. I want to keep things very natural. I'm loving the way this makeup looks. Now, there is a final product that came out in this collection. This is quite a surprise. It is the Le Beige Illuminating Oil Face, Body, and Hair. It is just... Such a gorgeous product. I love how large this bottle is. This is a dry oil with shimmer in it. Just the perfect product for the summer season. Now you do have to shake this up, but how elegant does this bottle look? 
it is a glass bottle and a little bit goes a long way as you can see it is an oil but it doesn't go on greasy is very dry it just has that gorgeous shimmer to it arm with the oil and this is without you can see it gives that beautiful sunkissed glow without being too overpowering. I am going to apply just a little bit on my hair. Now, of course, you don't want to apply this on the top, just on the bottom. Just to kind of give that glow to it. And it smells amazing it actually smells like the original hydrating cream that Chanel has so beautiful and those are all the products that I purchased from the new Chanel Le Beige collection for 2022 the Le Beige collection is usually always my favorite just because it has that natural type of effect and that is always the kind of makeup that I prefer probably anything you want to purchase out of this collection that is the most unique I would say it's the blush so if you do want to purchase one thing definitely go for the blush. I will definitely settle for that for sure. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video.